I just love these so much. This has been amazing. The best thing to ever happen to me. It's like magic. These also have become my favorite. Honestly, the best thing ever. Probably my most favorite product. 10 out of 10. It's amazing. This might be number one. Welcome back to a new video. I don't typically make these kind of videos But I have found myself recently obsessed with watching them because I think it's interesting to see what other people are loving at the moment If you want you can always buy it for yourself and try it out and compare and recently I have stumbled upon the channel of Janae Daly I saw one of her videos pop up on my recommended and it was a current favorites and the way she filmed it was just so Interesting and up my alley. She does it like vlog style where she pretty much vlogs and just walks you through her home and shows you everything everything firsthand what she's loving versus the typical sit down make my background look nice and gather everything to show you one by one on camera that is kind of where my inspiration came from to make a video like this I will have her channel even linked down below if you guys want to check her out she's literally a ball of sunshine and such a positive influential person like listening to her talk and her editing style it's just it makes you feel some type of way check out her channel I highly recommend the first category I wanted to start with was skincare so let's go right there this is literally a off-brand hyaluronic acid serum. I've been using this every day after I wash my face in the morning, and it truly has made, I feel like, such a difference in the glowiness of my skin. It just hydrates and doesn't make my face feel dry throughout the day. I have really dry, sensitive skin, and I struggle with having eczema, so trying out new skin products is kind of hard for me, especially stuff that does not advertise as eczema-friendly. But I took a chance on this, and I'm very happy I did, because it really has made a difference in my skin. It just feels soft all the time and something else I noticed which made me fall in love with this even more is it's been lightening my dark spots on my face so a lot on my forehead I have like acne scarring from like old acne when I would pick at it especially like around my cheek I would have discoloration using this every day has honestly evened out my skin tone like I don't notice like a big patch on my cheek anymore of like discoloration the spots on my forehead are like going away it's amazing and I think this is also helping with my acne don't hold me to that but I really think this thing is solving all my problems 10 out of 10 it does it all the next one is actually in the freezer so let me go get it this here, my friends, has also been the best thing to ever happen to me. I got this at Ross. It was like $6. It came with the serum and a kit. This has made doing skincare so much fun. I love doing this in the morning. I will do the serum and then go and roll this like all over my face. It really helps drain your lymph nodes in the morning. Or when I'm having a headache from staring at a computer screen for too long, I will take it out and just run it along my forehead. It just feels so nice. I'll have one linked down below that's similar on Amazon because I know you can get them on Amazon for basically the same price that I got it for. I'm still kind of dabbling in the world of skincare so I don't have a lot to show with you guys. That's honestly the only two products that I've been obsessed with but the second I start dabbling in like toners and more moisturizers and under eye creams and stuff I will share it with you guys. Moving on to the next category we should do I'm thinking hair care. Welcome to my bathroom. So I lied. I forgot there's actually one more skincare product that I can't believe I forgot about because it's actually been the most life-changing thing ever. It is this goat's milk bar. This is by the brand Beekman and I got this at Ulta. It's like a new upcoming brand apparently. This stuff has kept my face so clear and smooth. I have not struggled with having eczema on my face in months now that I think about it. I used to get really bad eczema patches on my cheeks and around my eyes and since I started using this I have not had a single eczema breakout on my face yet. Even on my hands like I'll get a breakout and I'll wash my hands with this and it goes away. So for all my people who struggle with eczema and have really sensitive skin this is honestly the best thing ever. I was always an anti-bar soap person because I feel like they go to waste very fast but this has lasted me a very long time. Beekman, Ulta, Goat's Milk, check it out. Now we can move on to hair care. I haven't been able to find like a shampoo and conditioner yet to show you guys that I'm loving because I've been going through a whole bunch of different kinds. I was using OGX and then I was using Tresemme and then I was using Aussie. I'm just all over the place with hair care stuff right now because I'm trying to figure out what really works for my hair that I can stick to. Especially with the seasons changing, I have to kind of like switch it up a lot because my hair will be drier during some months versus others. So I have to use different products for those months. 
It's a mess. We love having curly hair. Something that I have been using nonstop that's been constant is the Shea Moisture Hydrating Repair Mask. I'll use this about once a month, typically at like the end of the month. I'll go ahead and wash my hair with this first and I leave it in for like 10 minutes and then I'll rinse it out and then do shampoo and conditioner. It honestly has helped a lot with like breakage and my dead ends. It's a Manuka Honey and Yogurt. It's to strengthen and protect extremely dry and brittle hair. Check, 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 and check. Shea Moisture has always been like a very trustworthy brand. I feel like you hear so much crap about like lawsuits with every brand except Shea Moisture So I honestly trust them with my life it gives my hair such a nice reset too because I will do many different hairstyles to it after I put heat on it Like I can just depend on this to just bring it back to life. It's amazing That's honestly all my hair care that I'm obsessed with in the shower everything else is in my room. So let's go back Hey, this is my hair care stuff. I have all of my hair products stashed in this drawer here. So to kind of go along with the Shea Moisture Hydrating Repair stuff, I actually have the matching leave-in conditioner that goes with it. I usually like to use this when I do like a co-wash day. I think that's what it's called. Let's say a couple of days into the week, my hair's feeling a little dry, a little itchy. I'll do a co-wash where I just do conditioner and then I'll go in and use this stuff. It makes my hair feel super soft. Pretty much does the same exact thing as the mask, but just like in a leave-in conditioner bottle. Next up is a product that, honestly, there's a lot of mixed reviews about, but I, for the most part, can say I stand. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This stuff, I don't know what they put in it, but it is amazing. I have never had something that detangles my hair so well. It protects my hair from heat. It makes my hair smell so good. It's like magic in a bottle. And yes, this stuff is very expensive. I think this bottle was like $60, but I can say it's a great investment because a little goes a long way. It lasts me so long. Sometimes throughout the week I'll go and spray this on my ends because I'll be looking a little dry and they're ready to go we stand it's a 10 it's a 10 so now the last hair product I have this is the Maui curl quench coconut oil this was one of the first products my cousin ever recommended to me when I told her I wanted to start taking care of my curly hair and kind of bringing it back it's pretty much like a curl smoothie styling product and it smells so good. I'm not a big coconut fan, so it's crazy that I love the scent of this, but it just smells like Hawaii in a container. And I've never even been to Hawaii. And if you can tell, I've had this honestly since like December, November, and I have so much left because a little bit goes a long way. If I had to like rate these products in order, I think this might be number one. The last thing I have that's kind of hair care, but like not really like a product that I put in my hair. So this is one of those constant spray bottles. So when you hold this down, it'll do like a constant stream of mist. This has honestly been the best thing I think I could have spent my money on. Whenever I used to style my hair, I would have to stick most of my head either in the sink or just like constantly put it in my hand and like wet my hair. And it takes so long and then your whole entire shirt or whatever you're wearing gets wet. But this makes it so much easier because now I can just spray my hair like this. And since it's like a constant mist of water, like it just gets your hair wetter faster and it's just so much easier than like sticking your head in the sink. Next category we should move on to is makeup. Alrighty, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been wearing a lot of it, especially now that it's summer and it's hot and humid. I don't typically wanna have stuff on my face, but I do have about two products I wanna show you guys, and actually like four. The first one is this primer. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Lumino Face Primer. I hope I'm saying that right. This primer is actually kinda has like a tannish tint to it. it kinda looks like sunscreen, and it kinda feels like sunscreen when you're putting it on versus like the baby skin was more of a silicone base. This one specifically is for more of a dewy look and I have noticed when doing my makeup that glowiness and dewy effect underneath like my concealer especially when I'm only wearing concealer like I'm not even wearing like a full face of makeup and my skin just glows this has been amazing I always loved wet n wild products so I definitely want to try out more now that I know what they're capable of next makeup product I have is from Maybelline this is the Maybelline great lash I use this on my eyebrows because I have honestly given up on doing my eyebrows I have embraced my thick brows and the hairs that grow at a rapid speed I will just comb them with some gel and call it a day and you know what that's actually the trend now so it's great the next makeup product I have is probably my most favorite product this is the naked urban decay flush palette I have had this for so long that they don't even make the packaging look like this anymore this has always been my favorite go-to blush I've tried to branch out to different kinds of brands and colors and I always come back to this one I like dragging it all the way up here and I'll drag it over my nose and it just makes me look so happy and glowy and I have always been a fan of like that flushed blushed look it just makes you look so innocent and i i live for it this has been my lover and then the last product i have to show you guys for makeup is a very simple basic clear lip gloss this is from the brand essence i think they're like 
three dollars essence has always been a cheap underrated brand and this one is a clear lip gloss that actually has a plumping effect I'm not gonna lie i don't know if it really works but i love the color and the application of this it's not sticky it doesn't feel like tacky on my lips and honestly it just looks good on every lip color i choose to put it on that is all of my current makeup products moving on to the next category which i think i'm most excited for is clothing i hope you're ready if you are not subscribed to my vlog channel, then you would not know that I recently quit my part-time job at the beginning of this year, which meant I would be spending a lot of time at home, focusing on schoolwork and growing my own personal businesses and hobbies. I started looking into buying more like comfy loungewear that I could wear at home, but also feel motivated enough to like do work. And I think I have discovered the most amazing and perfect loungewear a girl could have. All of it is from Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters Out From Under collection. If you guys have not checked it out, I highly recommend checking it out. The first tank tops that I have discovered from them are these micro fusion spaghetti strap low cut tops. The material of this is literally equivalent to a bathing suit, which makes wearing it so comfortable. It feels like you are literally wearing nothing. This is a bathing suit top from Target. That is what it looks like. And then this is the material of the tank top. So it's very comfortable. And what I like the most about these is you you don't have to wear a bra. I wear these to sleep. I wear them out in public and no one even knows the difference. By the way, for sizing on this one, I got all of these in a medium because they are such a tight material. But typically I would get a small, but I got a medium and I'm very happy I did because if you got a small, I probably wouldn't be able to breathe. This next top is another little black crop top because you can never go wrong, except this one does not have adjustable straps and it's like a ribbed material. Since it doesn't have adjustable straps, I did get all of these in like an extra small slash small. These also have become my favorite. I literally wear these to sleep all the time because they just fit so nice. Again, you don't have to wear a bra if you don't want to. When I'm going out for drinks with my friends or something casual, I will wear this with a pair of jeans and some booties and a purse and it looks super dressed up and nice. And then the last top I have, to show you is actually the same top that I'm wearing right now except in a different color so this is also from the out from under collection from urban it's pretty much just like a very light material crop top they are so beyond soft and comfortable I love wearing these in the house because they're so lightweight it's like it covers me but it's not like super heavy these are also very comfortable to sleep in all of this is so nice that's like probably my favorite thing is that I can wear most of these either to bed or out my dad brought me food and it's been sitting on my bed so if you just don't mind me real quick i have two more clothing pieces to show you guys and then that's pretty much it for this category the next one are a pair of jeans these are levi's straight leg wedgie cut i believe i got these at urban when i was in texas back in december and these are the best jeans I have to say I've ever owned in my entire life. I've always struggled finding a good pair of jeans just because finding jeans to fit my bum area and also fit my waist area at the same time has always been hard. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. Also just finding like the right cut. You know, I'm 5'1", so finding jeans that also don't go all the way down to my toes or are not too high water, like it's just hard. And then once you do find that good pair of jeans, it's like hard to buy any other style. I'm obsessed with these. I low-key feel like like Dakota Johnson when I wear these. I don't know why. I love her streetwear. It's just like a nice thick jean material and it just hugs your body and it makes the butt look so good. I just love these so much. Like I don't even want to put them down. A fun fact about me is I've always been a black booty gal. I love having like a staple black booty to wear with everything. And recently I purchased a pair from Steve Madden. These are the Davis booty. They look like this. They're just a simple black booty and the heel is kind of like a retro cut they called it. I have been nonstop wearing these everywhere i wear them with skirts dresses jeans what else do i wear shorts like i literally wear these boots everywhere they are so comfortable and sturdy i wore them the other day to go walking like around downtown and my feet never ache like these are so dependable and sturdy that is pretty much everything for clothing but i have two more things i want to share with you guys that are kind of like in the random category so the first thing or things are these blue light glasses. I have grown up staring at a computer screen and I have really bad eyesight. I do wear contacts every day and I do have a prescription pair of glasses and my prescription glasses actually have the blue light in them but I hate having to like take out my contacts and put my glasses on when I need to edit but then like put my contacts back in when I'm done. So I looked into Amazon, I got me a pair of like three packed blue light glasses. These are really nice because they don't have prescriptions so I can wear them with my contacts 
contacts and then when I'm done I will just rip them off and my favorites have been these ones and honestly I will wear these all day even if I'm not in front of the computer if I'm having like a day where I don't like how I look and I want to cover more of my face up I will literally wear these glasses on camera but these are the tortoise ones and then these ones are just like your basic clear which is like the new trend like everyone's wearing clear acrylic glasses I don't really like these as much I'll only wear them when I have to honestly and then I have one more that's just like a plain black pair that make me look like Spongebob so I don't ever wear those <laughs> again they came in a pack of like three and I think I got them for like ten or twelve dollars and then the last thing I have to show you <laughs> is random my journal it's not specifically this exact journal that's my favorite but it's just journaling the activity itself has been one of my favorite things I've always loved documenting my life whether that's in photos videos or writing since I was like seven or eight years old if I had like a little journal or a diary like I was always writing in it like little stories about my days and like my feelings and obviously like as you get older you just I feel like have more to say and like my writing has gotten a lot more advanced and deep but I just love journaling like it really just calms me and it like when you have a lot on your mind and you don't feel like talking to someone or you don't know how to talk to someone because most of the time a lot of stuff that goes on in your head it's just a jumbled mess and it's just things you need to jot down not necessarily speak out loud I will just write it all down and I will feel so much better it's like a weight has been lifted off my back I am like a big advocate for journaling and just like writing about your feelings or even talking about it if that's what works best for you my favorite thing is getting to go back and read old entries and seeing how I was feeling back then and then like comparing it to how I'm feeling now and like what I'm going through now and how it's different and how I've improved and like glowed up in a way it is crazy it's literally my favorite thing ever and I guess this journal is kind of cute too I got it from Target it says it is written in the stars I love astrology I love zodiac signs if you guys don't journal or don't have a journal I highly recommend trying it out but that is pretty much everything I have to share with you guys at the moment those are all of my current favorites I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you liked the way it was filmed let me know if you prefer this style or if you want me to like sit down and like I guess try harder feel free to subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up i also have a vlog channel where i vlog pretty much my everyday life and i upload monday wednesdays and fridays that will be linked down below feel free to check that out i love you i appreciate you if you made it to the end and i will see you guys all in my next video bye